showing you a detailed video on how I did my first recipe with the deer sausage or just the deer in general that I got processed. The first thing that I used was the sausage that I got because I got ground sausage, um, some hamburger patties, cube steaks, and a few sausage links. So thought out about two pounds of that sausage yesterday and then I'm going to show y'all in this video how I made biscuits with homemade deer sausage gravy turned out so great and then what I did was I cooked up the whole two pounds of it and then I put half or about a fourth of it into the sausage gravy and then the rest of it I put into a chili that I made last night threw it everything together in the crock pot after I had you know completely cooked that um, deer sausage and it turned out really good. Anyways, before any of these kids get any crazier, I'm gonna go ahead and start this video. So let's get into it. I just kidding. Yeah, yeah, put it in the chest. <laughs> Yay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Oh Lord, you're a comedian. He knows he is on camera. He's gonna be a star. So this is my deer sausage right here. I got the whole thing processed, um, or after I, I cleaned it, I took what I wanted to, just uh, some of the hams and the tenderloin, and backstrap to the processor, and I um, chose a couple things that I wanted. And one of the things, I got um, a couple pounds of ground sausage. So I have this right here, it's about a pound and a half, and I'm going to be cooking it all up. And I do have some Oystershire, however you say that, to each their own sauce that I'm just gonna be kind of splashing in there. And then of course some salt and pepper, but I'm just gonna be cooking it to taste right now because this is my first time cooking with this specific processor. So, you know, I'm not sure what all they've added in here as well. So I'm just gonna be cooking to taste and then I will let y'all know in the description what my final recipe is. So I put about a tablespoon and a half or so of butter in here and I am just going to push that all around just like that just to get the bottom of the pan. Um, I don't want a ton of butter in there right now. I just want to get it a little greased up. Okay so let's open this up. I love how perfectly they package this. Mm -hmm. OCD in me, I absolutely love this. And if y'all can hear some noise in the background, that is just Gage. He is outside detailing my car, so he's got his um, little pressure washing machine on. So there we go. See how they just package it in this plastic. So I'm gonna just throw this directly into the pot. love a good peppercorn grinder so I'm gonna add some of this and I have it set on the larger setting so that it can give me some large chunks but I'm just gonna do some fresh pepper all on there you can do this to taste but I like my pepper I will do let's see some onion powder can't go wrong with onion powder and since I'm putting this in the gravy thank you, thank you. Since I'm putting this in the gravy, I don't want to do actual onions right now just because onions and the gravy, I don't know about all that, but I will have onions in the, um, in the chili. So, but just for now, I just want to add a little bit of good onion powder to that. And then we're just going to let this cook. And I'm going to add barely any because I don't want my biscuits and gravy to taste like Worcestershire sauce, but I'm just gonna add that taste. While this is cooking, I'm gonna give Branch some of his breakfast because he's yelling at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add this whole stick of butter, or this isn't a whole stick. This is about one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half tablespoons of butter. And so I'm just gonna add all of this in there. And it's still good because the flavor 
is attached to the pan, so the butter, it'll kind of bond with that, and you'll still have that good sausage flavor. Be like, sausage butter. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm having a heart attack just thinking about it. So I'm just gonna let this melt down. And then I'm going to get some flour. by letting it sit longer and cook longer that will kind of diminish that flour taste so I want to do it as long as I can without burning it so I think this is good it's ready for my milk I'm gonna be using whole milk for this recipe and for y'all's sake I am gonna be um, using a measuring cup so I can tell you exactly how many cups I'm using Okay, y'all, so don't laugh at me, but I am gonna just be making the Grand's Southern Biscuits today just because we have so many people here right now and there's so much going on, especially with the kids and Matt is working outside. I don't have time to be making these biscuits from scratch. I made the gravy from scratch and that is enough, okay? So I'm gonna be making these and I've already set the oven to 375 and I'm gonna have these baking while I'm gonna show y'all how I'm finishing this gravy. Okay, finishing up the gravy. So for the base of this, I only did two cups of whole milk and I added a, about a half a cup of, of a little bit more just because I want it to be a little soupier. Now that is totally your preference. You can add um, two cups and that'll give you a good base. It is a little thick and then you can add as much more as you need to just a little bit here and there just maybe by the tablespoons just so you can get it to the consistency that you like it at. Normally I would be adding some more salt right now but I just tasted this amazing sausage and it tastes so good but it does have enough sodium in it and enough flavor Oh yes, this is real sausage gravy, y'all. And then that is it. So I'm just going to let this cook for probably about five to 10 minutes, just so that that sausage can kind of merge together with the gravy and all of those flavors. Ooh. All of those flavors can get released. But the last thing that I'm going to do is just to add some pepper on top, y'all, because I love my pepper. And get some white pepper gravy here all right and then so once you let that cook for about five to ten more minutes it is ready once my biscuits are cooked up i'm just going to pour this over top and we are good to go y'all 